case uh, this morning. They're here to uh, share their story and, and talk about what they're what what else they're doing in addition to that. Good morning to good both morning. of you. Good, good, good to see today. you. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting right to it. So what, how in the world did this come to be? Because I remember when this uh, first happened and it, it made headlines and then it, it came out that you got that he paid you guys to do this. Uh, so give us the real the short version. How did this even come to be? Did he call you on the phone? Did he meet you somewhere? How did, how did this all come to be? Yeah, so he invited me to Center Space where we shoot the videos of Empire, and he just came out and said, I want you to beat me up. And me, I was confused. I didn't say anything. He turned to me again, I want you to fake beat me up. And that's where he explained how he wanted us to fake attack him. I'm curious, because uh, a lot of people are familiar with the story already, why do this docu-series? What, what's, what are you trying to get out of it, or what point are you trying to make? So the reason we decided to do the docu-series is because we felt the hoax was being used for a racial and political divide in the country. And had anti-gay uh, sentiments. Yeah, and it just didn't feel right with us, so we wanted to use this docu-series to lay out all the facts and right our wrongs because hmm. we were wrong for participating in the fake attack or the hoax right yeah. when this all got out i mean you so you you participated in this uh and then it's, it got out that it was a hoax and that you guys were, were part of it what was your what was your reaction at that point well, we were in jail. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah. 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 Well, that's not a good reaction yet. So you were in jail. Yeah. yeah. But at that point, was it like, uh, oh, boy, because you were in jail. But yeah. did you ever think it would get to that point? I mean... We never thought it wasn't supposed to get to that point. It, it, it wasn't was supposed, supposed to be for social media. Yeah. You feel me? He was supposed to put it on social media. We were never supposed to be in the spotlight or anything. So that was all a huge surprise for us. I'm curious, and we actually got this tweet from a viewer earlier uh, this morning, although I have seen this this comment made. There's a clip where you guys reenact what happened leading up to and, and during, uh, where it's gone viral probably for the, for the wrong reasons, I would say. A lot of folks are laughing about it. And, mm -hmm. and somebody asked, uh, how do you feel about what looks like to some people you all making light of something that was very serious, not the attack itself, but what, what it turned into? Even you just mentioned it now with, with the, you know, homophobic comments and things like that. Do you, do you see how for some people it's perceived that way? Uh, we can see it because that's how it was taken. But when we were going through the entire skit, we were actually just doing exactly what we did that day. We, yeah. didn't, we weren't pretending. We weren't acting. That's exactly how we went through the whole situation. So um, it's however people took it. And mm -hmm. that's how they took it. We didn't. Um, bring it out that way, though. It's not meant to be. Yeah. Funny. yeah. Uh, what other projects are you all working on? Uh, so we have a podcast right now where it's on YouTube under the Usher and Dairo Brothers YouTube page where we discuss current events, sports, and hard topics where we try to bring common sense to conversations that we feel is painfully lacking in mm. today's environment. And you're also yeah. working on a book? Or you, or you yeah. have a book? Are you working on a book? We're yeah. working, on a, working book on a book about through, this whole thing and some other things as well. Yeah, through Words Matters Publishing, and we're also working on a children's book, hmm. which should be out this fall. Have you heard anything from uh, Jesse or his team at all? Nothing at all. No. Okay. No discouragement from doing this docu series or anything like that. Oh no, not at all. Okay. No. All right. Where can folks uh, watch it if they're interested? The docu series. Where can oh, the docu. Oh, oh, Fox Nation. So the five-part series is on Fox Nation. Now, we can't, we can't ignore the fact you got a uh, championship belt right here. Uh, we didn't, we're not ignoring that. We're going to get, get to that at the end. So there is a, a championship belt. Explain what that belt is, what it's all about. So this belt I won in December uh, in Africa, actually, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It put me to be number 25 in the world, professional boxing in the WBC, so ranked number one in Africa. Mm -hmm. So, And with only six fights, I'm undefeated as okay. a professional boxer. Is, as you right there, uh, putting a, laying hands on somebody, right? Ooh. Yep. Okay. All right. So I don't cross you. That's, that's wow. more than laying hands. It's not laying hands in prayer. <laughs> All right. uh, wow. Wow. Okay. But, uh, but uh, yeah. thanks, thanks so much for coming on. We got, we got lots of questions. We don't have enough time. Uh, that's what yeah. it is. We got, we got, we'll talk to you during the commercial break. Thank you for having us. So thank you. We thank appreciate you your time this morning. Yeah. All right. And just a reminder, you can uh, watch this docu-series, Jesse Smollett,